In this video, I'm going to show you how to create shaky text using the individual characters to have them shake like this using Fusion built in to Resolve 17.4. Okay, we're going to start off by switching to the Fusion page to create this effect. And you can also add an adjustment clip or a text plus title to start off with, but I'm just going to be doing it right here on the footage for this demonstration. So I'll switch to the Fusion page. And we can see to this effect by adding a text plus node and merging that with the footage. I'm going to start off from scratch here. So I'm going to left click on that, delete it, add a new text plus node. Kind of connect that to the merge here. I'm going to put this text plus node in the first viewer by hitting the one on my keyboard. And I'll come over to the inspector here and add my text. I can increase the size here to make it a little easier to see. There's basically two different techniques we're going to be using, combining here to create this effect so that it affects the individual characters. First, we're going to right click on the text box here and we're going to choose follower, follower modifier. And we'll just set this up so have it be five frames for the delay. And then we're going to switch to the shading tab. And the way we're going to create this is come to the position, come to the offset, go to right click, come down to modify with, we're going to modify it with shake. Now, by default, the values are quite high, so it's going to be quite wild there, but we can rein that in a bit. So we're going to take the minimum parameter here, make that 0.1. Then we can take the maximum and say make that 0.2. So if we now play this through, see it's more reasonable here, but you do see each individual character is shaking. And we can also change the smoothness. So right now it's fairly slow, but if you if you take the smoothness and move it down, it'll be a little bit quicker when it's doing its shake. So you can just modify that to your needs. And we'll play it through here. So again, if by changing the smoothness, you can make it shake quicker or quite a bit slower to fit your needs. But then if we come on back to the edit page, we can play it through and you can see it shaking. You can see this effect is pretty easy to do in Fusion. So I hope you find this video useful. And I thank you for watching.